Santelli Exchange, hop over to Chicago and Rick Santelli. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Carl. Of course, everybody wants to talk about J.P. Morgan and beat up on Jamie Dimon. Of course, we look several hours ago at how the markets were impacted by Greece. We continue to watch banks like Credit Agrico in France that are at the all-time low stock price ever. But I haven't heard enough about California right in our own backyard. You know, California has a $91 billion budget, but yet they have a $15.7 billion shortfall. That same shortfall in January was $9.2 billion. Governor Brown says, well, he's going to get to this number by first $8.3 billion in cuts. The rest he's going to make up in taxes. And he wants a compromise. That's why it's only partially on cuts. I'll tell you what the compromise is going to look like. You want to know what the compromise is going to look like? The compromise is going to look like happy feet. Because the people of California are hightailing out of the state. Just look at what Governor Brown said. The reason we went from a shortfall that he imagined would be somewhat in the 9.2 billion area to 15.7 is because of all these people that have left the state. The revenues of his last tax increase just didn't generate the revenue. Boy, how quickly all the experts are to berate the likes of Art Laffer, who always seems to have it right with regard to taxes. If you get overtaxed in a way where the taxes are paying bills in the rear view mirror, but your income that they tr try to tap is here moving forward, one of the recourses you have when it is a state is to say, Arriva Derchi, California. Now, of course, many can't do the same thing when it comes to the national level, but the lessons should be about the same. Compromise? Compromise is a great buzzword. But if spending is this far out of control, why would any tax taxpayer in his right mind throw more of his dollars into this bottomless pit. Think about that person at Facebook who decided to give up his citizenship. I know that's in the extreme, but I can't tell you how many business people in their 60s tell me it isn't worth the risk anymore. They're going to wind down as opposed to keep investing. That's going to be more revenue lost. I'll tell you a compromise. Stop spending, stop spending, stop spending. Back to you. There's no risk you would ever renounce your citizenship, right? Rick? I would never. Nobody's going to chase me out of my country. I'm going to chase the spenders out of the balance sheet first. I like it. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Rick Santelli in Chicago.